I'm Sheena Fly. This is a how to video, and we are going to make a mask together. You might need a mask for different purposes, like your customs, your parties, or stop motion video creatures, or even for a higher purpose, like scaring the hell out of someone. No matter what the reason is for you to watch this video, we don't judge you. Also, by knowing the technique that I'm using here, you get to know a bit about molding, casting, and clay sculpting. So if you want to know about any of those, wear your aprons and follow me. First step requires lots of creativity out of you. So if you already have the concept in your mind and you're good at drawing, get it on a paper and that's it. But if you're like me and you're not so good at drawing and you really are not sure about what you want, then get some good images from um, any online resource that you can find and try to get as many details as possible for that shape and also some sort of like a color palette for it. That's gonna help you. Next, you need to get yourself a styrofoam mannequin head. We're going to sculpt on that mannequin's head. It's widely available on Amazon and eBay. I'll put the links down below for you. And that means you won't need to create a separate armature. We just saved you hours of work. You're welcome. Now start the fun part and get into sculpting. This part is really enjoyable. Take your time because it's gonna take so much time, but you are creating the main part, which is your creature. So give it all the details that it needs and get into it and the sculpt only half of the head because it's a mask so we just need the half of the head the clay that i recommend which i also use is called plastilina it's an oil based clay which is very useful it's not gonna get dry because it's a non-hardening type of clay and it helps you to create all the details after sculpting the whole clay part, then we are going to cover the edges of the face with something. It can be with the same clay or like what I used here was a foam sheet because it needs to protect the rest of the area and make a frame for the runny plaster that we are going to pour in later. You're gonna see why. Then you need plaster, bucket and water. Fill your bucket quarterly with water and add the plaster into it. You need to add the plaster up to the point that it doesn't sink in and you see that it's forming an island on top. Now this is the healing part. Get into the bucket, squeeze and stir the plaster and water and try to mix it in a way that there are no lumps and that's the runny mixture that we need for the mold. Then you need to scoop it out and put it on the clay and let it dry. So now that the wall came off. Okay. I just need to take out all the clay. Here is the not so fun part of the process. We need to clean that mold because what we really need is that mold. So we need to clean all the clay out of it and have the clay mold then add some baby powder to it so that it doesn't stick to your latex. Number one, before the plaster part, brush the clay with Vaseline gently. That's gonna help you a lot when you want to pull apart the clay out of the mold. After the fifth layer of latex, I have another tip for you. So add some of those blue roll wipes, dip it into the latex, simply cut the sheets into smaller pieces and make a layer out of it. That helps to make your mask thicker and stronger. Next, we are going to use the latex to make the flesh of the mask. And this part takes time and patience. Lots of it. There is no way around this. So we need 12 layers of latex in total and you need to pour in the latex, rotate it around the mold, let it dry. Wait, and then pour in the next layer, rotate it around, let it dry and wait. So that's, a, that's, that's the only way to it, guys. So be patient. And then once this layer is done, I have a tip for you. Number two, if you already know what the overall skin color is, then add that color to your latex before pouring it into your mold. That's going to save you lots of time. Once the latex is fully dried in the mold, then you just slowly try to peel off the edges. And then take the mask out of the mold. I have put 30 hours of work into making this mask 
but I was also very happy to have just a great color skin for the overall shape of it so I didn't add the painting step to it but if you want to paint or draw on it that's your choice put more time to it and make it into perfection If this video could help you to make your own mask, please share it with me with your comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Next month, I'm going to take you to one of the best places for photographers in Korea. It's gonna be so fun, it's a vlog. And till then, have a colorful day!